Something we've learned from years of travel is that things don't always go according to plan. Unfortunately, you can't control the weather, but that doesn't have to stop you from having a good time. In this video, we're going to show you a couple of things you can do on a rainy day in Budapest. Yeah. Whether rain or shine, one great way to start a day is of course to head to a cafe for some breakfast or some brunch. Budapest has cafes all over the city. There's some really well-known ones such as the New York Cafe. It's really elaborate and beautiful. But then there's also just these simple cafes scattered everywhere throughout the city. But right now, we are at a famous place called Freya and they are known for their croissants. So they have both sweet and savory options for their croissants. And because we showed up a little bit late, they actually ran out of a couple different options. They open at eight o'clock in the morning and right now it's about 1 p.m. So we showed up a little bit late. So they ran out of, I think the original one and a couple other ones. But here we have three different types. So we ended up getting an almond, a chocolate and cheese and prosciutto. And they actually gave two of these for free because they were display versions that were sitting there for like an hour or so. I'm more of a savory person, so I'm gonna go with the prosciutto and cheese. Mm. Mm. So it's very flaky, very buttery. It's got this burnt kind of cheese on the outside. It's got this nice salty ham. And of course, the fluffy buttery croissant. So it's very delicious. I can't wait to try all of these. We actually found this place because some other YouTube couple went to a different branch in Canada and British Columbia. It started in Budapest though. So ever since I saw that video, I wanted to come and have these amazing croissants. The guy actually has this goal that he wants to make the best croissant in the world. And he actually won best croissant in Budapest two years in a row. Apparently they use 50% of butter, or basically these croissants are 50% butter. French butter. French butter and Hungarian milk and very high quality ingredients. So I'm really excited about this. They look so flaky and this one is loaded with almonds, which looks amazing and smells amazing. Mm. This is good. This is so, so buttery and the topping on top is so almondy, a bit like marzipan, which I love. This is definitely a really high quality almond croissant. It's so delicious. Chocolate. Mm. So good. And they actually have seating inside. So even if it's raining, you can sit inside. We're sitting outside now in the rain, but only because we're filming. But it's packed and that's why. One of the obvious things to do when the weather isn't that good is to go to a museum or an art gallery. Of course, Budapest has a lot of museums that are related to history or science. They also have quirky museums like a pinball museum, which is more like an arcade, a museum of illusions. And we're gonna go to a really cool art gallery today. We do like history stuff, but this is gonna be something fun. We came to the amazing metal art gallery, which is a gallery of statues or sculptures that is only made out of recycled car, recycled parts, right? car parts. Yeah, it looks really cool. They have a lot of um, characters from movies and things like that that they made. Yeah, there's, there's stuff like Terminator, there's dragons, there's... Ale, there's some stuff from Alien, yeah, apparently. Transformers, yeah, all kinds of stuff. Super cool.
Looks like you can buy them. This dragon costs 2 million hoof, like 5,000 euros or something like that. Apparently the guy who made these is from Thailand. He has a museum, Transformers Museum in Thailand. Do you feel powerful? Apparently some of them actually took up to eight months to make. You're allowed to even go on top of the statues. Why else can you do that in a museum? There's a button. Should I press it? Yeah. Imagine it just... just <laughs> it's like... <laughs> Apparently this one they couldn't get in here, so they had to take it apart and then weld it back together. And it took nine men to carry this. Because I think it says it weighs 600 kilos. And I recognize something, bike chains, I think. We are inside an old subway train. The guy here, he let us in because we did pay extra for a photo ticket, only a euro. And it's super cool, it's super old. train looks a bit newer but still pretty old reminds me of home because we have the subway in Berlin obviously and when I was little didn't quite look like this but it's still pretty old yeah this is definitely more like 50s or something like that it's really really cool I love all the artwork all the posters everywhere that's probably my favorite part of course in the little statues or the mannequins yeah And as Budapest has one of the oldest subway systems in the world, in fact, the second oldest one in the world, the oldest one is in London, but this one is the oldest one in mainland Europe. Line one is the oldest line, so we're gonna write that now. Budapest actually has an amazing subway system, especially when it rains. It's going to be very convenient. Tickets are only around a dollar, so it's very cheap. And there's also Bolt, which is similar to Uber, but it's run by a taxi company. So if it's raining, that's how you can get around. One of our favorite ways to spend a rainy evening is to have some cocktails. So right now we're at Vault 51 Gamer Bar, which if you look around, you can see is actually Fallout themed, like the Fallout video game series. Personally, I'm a massive video game fan. I'm a massive Fallout fan as well. 
but there's also all sorts of video game posters, artwork, everything all over the place. There's Super Mario, there's Doom, there's even a Terminator arcade machine. And yeah, you can play games here. And I think a lot of people come here to play uh, board games and stuff as well. Like I think there's people playing D&D &D and all sorts of things like that. And the menu itself also reflects that it is Gamer Bar. They're all named after different uh, video game series or characters. And they also have a huge list of specifically follow cocktails as well. And I got two of them. So if you're a fan of the Fallout series, like I am, you will of course know of Nuka-Cola. So right here, we have two different Nuka-Cola cocktails. So the first cocktail has Captain Morgan Gold, Dr. Pepper, vanilla syrup, and some other sort of syrup. I can't really read it on the menu. Coconut syrup, okay. Mm, that's delicious. I mean, I'm a massive Dr. Pepper fan, so definitely has the Dr. Pepper taste. It's not very boozy. I think there's probably only like one shot. These are very cheap. This is like 1,500 foreign. Yeah, like five. So like five bucks maybe. So that's pretty good. So yeah, you taste a little bit of coconut. You taste the Dr. Pepper, but yeah, not too strong. Now the second one, of course, the Nuka-Cola Quantum. Are you it's, restoring your energy? Yeah. I mean, this is irradiated, as you can see. That's where the color comes from. Let's try this one. Mm, that one's good as well. This one's a little bit more boozy. So this one, Obviously gets the blue color from the blue Curacao. It has Finlandia vodka in it as well and Sprite. I think that I prefer the Dr. Pepper one maybe because I'm a big fan of Dr. Pepper and I'm more of a rum fan than a vodka fan, but they're both really good and cheap. I got a diamond unicorn cocktail. I'm not sure if this is a Roblox one. Don't really care. They do actually have Harry Potter ones, so I didn't see it. And Witcher. Yeah, we have to come back. But this one has vodka and cherry brandy, and it has this golden sheen. I don't really know what that is. Mmm, tastes very cherry. It's delicious, like cherry juice. Perfect thing to do on a rainy day. So this is the end of the video. If you come to Budapest and it's raining, there's definitely a lot of things you can do. Don't let the weather ruin your holiday. There's bars, museums, and so much more than we saw today. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a like, write a comment for us, and of course, the most important thing, subscribe. But for now, that is it for today, and we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Bye -bye.